Hurricane season 2020 is fast approaching and today we're going to be talking about some battery backups, solar panels, and generators. Some things that you may want to really consider with the hurricane season coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles and this is Hurricane Season 2020 Episode 9 and we're going to be talking about some solar panels, battery backups, and generators. Different ways, different things, different hows to make sure that you can still connect with the outside world if you really want to. If you don't, don't watch the video. Anyways. So we're gonna start off. We have these solar panels here. Solar panels are great. Now this solar panel here, <clears throat> um, this is a, a, a Rave Power. It's only a 24 watt. I, I bought this last year before my trip because I never experimented with solar panels before. Um, they had it on sale for 49 bucks on Amazon. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It comes with, it only charges USB. It comes with three USB charging ports. Now, when I had that, <clears throat> I would take and put it out in the sun. I'd hike up in the mountainside, and there's a big, huge clearing on top of the hill. And so I would take whatever needed to be charged, whether it was a cell phone or a battery backup or a flashlight or whatever else, and take it up there. And I'd hook all three of them up. At one point, I was charging three cell phones, um, left it up there, keep it angled in the sun on the ground, like against the rock. And just kept it angled at the sun. Done a couple hours, and your phone would be just about charged. Three hours definitely would be charged. Now this one that's next to it here, <clears throat> this is a, a rock piles, and it's a hundred watt panel. Now I got this one. Um, uh, Santa Claus brought me this one, but uh, I haven't had a really chance to get out and experiment with this. Now I will say this folds up really nice and fits into a backpack. Really, really sweet. Okay. Yes, it's only 24 watts, but it will charge, say, a cell phone, a, a flashlight, something like that, or a little portable radio, or your Bofang, something like that. You know, you can charge something on the fly. Um, does come with the carabiners. Um, there's some down here, another pair up top. You can take and open that up, hook it right onto the back of your backpack, and keep walking, and your phones and things could be inside your backpack while they're charging, and you're walking along. Now this one, um, it weighs almost 11 pounds. So this isn't gonna be something you're gonna wanna be, you know, tracking through the woods with it, you know, unless you really are wanting to punish yourself and carry a lot of extra weight. Um, but in an emergency situation such as a hurricane, this one is great because it does come with all the adapters and everything to charge um, your, your battery banks. If you had a battery bank, which I do not have, um, I was looking at uh, one um, here a while back, um, but uh, that has kind of had to go on the back burner and put it in the cart for save for later, if you know what I mean, uh, with everything else that's going on. Um, but this one does have all the cables and everything to charge the any battery bank that I would be looking at. Um, it has a wider range of things that it, it can charge and it comes with all the cables and the cords and everything. Now that one regularly retails for 289 for the 100 watt, right? Now I picked that up um, just before Christmas and uh, they had them on sale um, on Cyber Monday for $159. Can't go wrong, gotta watch those days. <clears throat> So I picked it up for 159, saved myself a ton of money. Um, that's you know that's well over 100 bucks right there. Um, if I would have had the money, I would have bought two, but didn't have the money. Um, so you know you can you can get into your your your, uh, your small little battery banks here, which are great for you know like this is a single charge, 
So you can, this will give your cell phone a quick, you know, one full charge or a battery operated radio or like your Bofang here, you know, it, um, when I bought my Bofang, I bought the package deal where I got uh, the charging base uh, that, that came with the USB. Um, that was a nice feature because that's what I was looking for because, you know, if the power's out, you know, if you don't have a generator, but I have a generator now. Uh, learned my lesson through one of the hurricanes and went without power for five days and right after that bought one um, Didn't want to do that again. You can get these you know these little uh, Inverters uh, inverters are great. I have a big one in camp up north um, <clears throat> Mine doesn't have uh, The cigarette lighter adapter mine actually just connects right to the battery and then it converts it to the 110 and it has a couple of outlets and stuff on it so you can power just about anything you want. Um, this one here is great because it'll plug into your cigarette lighter. It has two USB ports and it'll also convert one outlet to 110. So if you needed to run, uh, say if you kept this in your car or something, uh, you needed to uh, run a little compressor or something, you would have a portable compressor to put air in your tire, um, that, that sort of thing. Um, but there is a wider range of different things that you can do. Uh, solar panels are great. You got to shop around as in with these battery banks like this one here. It's solar powered. If you're going to invest in one, I would definitely get one that's solar powered. The biggest problem with this sucker is it gets to 95% and it just won't go to 100. It just won't do it. I left it set out in the sun all day long and it stayed at 95% all day and never went to 100. I brought it inside, plugged it in, five minutes later it went to 100. Just didn't want to go to 100, you know. But, you know, it's solar power, it does have, um, comes with a light, you know. So, you know, you're getting, you know, it's a nice little feature. Uh, <clears throat> each one of these have uh, three ports. Actually, this one has two ports. This one has three ports. This is a two charge, so this will charge two things fully. This is a one charge. Uh, you can get these suckers in any type of uh, uh, any make model. Uh, you can spend anywhere from 30, 40 bucks to three, 400 bucks on these portable little battery banks and stuff. So it's what you can afford. Like I said, my channel is, you know, survival preparedness for the beginners. And, you know, I want to try to get you stuff that, you know, it, you can afford and get started with and have something that's secure. Always remember, you can upgrade your gear at any point in time. Once you start learning what you like, what you don't like, you know, doing your research on things and what you can afford, don't put yourself in debt to go out and buy the top line right off the bat. Start off small and slowly upgrade your products as you go along and you find things that you want, that you know how to use, and that's gonna be beneficial to your situation, whatever it may be. Now we're gonna move on to generators and more things you need for that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've gone outside to the shed. This is my generator. As you can see, it's a Durostar next generation power system. All right, it's just your basic generator. Gives you your voltmeter. It's got breaker. It's got your uh, 220, 110, and a 20 amp breaker built into it. Now, when you buy your generator, you want to make sure that you have a couple of gas cans at least. Uh, so there's 10 gallons of gas there. And I have, uh, this holds four gallons. I have four gallons in this. I do take it out and run it once a month. I start it up and I let it run for about an hour or so. And then I shut it off. And um, <clears throat> basically I turn the gas off and I just let it run dry so nothing stays in the system. Um, with your generator, you want to make sure that you have extra spark plugs um, you may want to pick up one of these cords all right 
And what it does is you plug this into the 220 and it breaks it out into 110 for you. And you also want to make sure that you have mortar oil. Always check the oil beforehand. Uh, mine does have a light that will come on, which is this right here. Um, <clears throat> but I'm old school. Uh, just like when uh, I used to cut grass when I was a kid. Dad always taught me, you know, make sure you check the uh, oil and everything before you start the lawnmower and start cutting grass. So, I always do that. It's just a good, safe habit to be into. Um, I have ran this and plugged in, like, uh, you know, some outside uh, weed eating, um, hedge trimmers, uh, my leaf blower's power. I plugged them all in and ran them, and this thing runs just fine. Uh, I picked this up. I've had it for three years now, and um, I got it online. It was like 300 bucks. Wasn't bad. Um, didn't know anything about uh, generators. Had to ask one of the guys that I work with, and uh, uh, Jason King kind of helped me out on that one. And thank you for that. Um, haven't had to use it yet, but I'm sure this season that's probably going to change. So I want to thank everybody for watching my channel. I thank you for subscribing, for sharing my videos. And until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I'll catch you on the flip side.